Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial, this is me MNA. I'm gonna be starting a new Kali Linux series along with other tutorials. So in this series I'm gonna be teaching Kali Linux tricks and tips, and also some ethical hacking stuffs. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys, how to install Kali Linux in your computer using VirtualBox so that you don't need to install Kali Linux in another PC or as a dual boot operating system. You can use the whole Kali Linux without any issue as you have another PC. So without wasting time, let's jump into the process. First we need to download VirtualBox, to do that type download VirtualBox in your browser. Click the first link and open the VirtualBox official download page. Now click the Windows host and start the download if you are in a Windows OS, or else you can download for other operating systems too. Now open another tab and search for Kali Download, to download Kali Linux. Click the first link to open the official Kali Linux download page. Scroll down and search for Kali Linux 64-bit virtual box. Now click the link next to it, so it will redirect you to offensive security VM download page. Now scroll down and click the Kali Linux virtual box images tab. If you are using Windows 32-bit operating system, please download the 32-bit Kali, or if you're a 64-bit Windows user, download the 64-bit. I'm downloading 64-bit Kali cause my Windows is 64-bit. You can either download via torrent or as a direct download. I have downloaded VirtualBox and Kali, now we need to install VirtualBox, double click on the VirtualBox installer file to install it. Just click next all the time to install the virtual box, and wait until it finishes the installation process. Now click finish and open the virtual box for first time, and you can see the Kali Linux icon has been changed as a virtual box icon. Now just double click on the Kali Linux to install it. Leave the default settings as it is. If you wish to change you can simply change everything after the installation. Now press import and wait for few minutes until it get installed. Our Kali Linux has been installed, and now before we start the Kali, we need to make some changes, select Kali, and open the settings. Select Network, and change the Network Adapter as Bridge Adapter, and press OK. Now press Start to open our Kali OS. Oops, there is an error in my USB controller, anyway we can fix this, open the settings and go to USB, and untick the Enable USB controller. 
Now press start to open our Kali OS. Press Kali GNU slash Linux. It will take some time since it is the first time we are running Kali, so please wait patiently until it loads up completely. Once you got this login screen, type root as the username, and the password as TOOR. And now press sign in to get into our hacking machine. This is the default username and password for Kali, if you wish you can change passwords and usernames later. Here we go guys. We have successfully installed our Kali hacking machine. I'm gonna be changing the text color of the terminal so that will give us some feel as a cracker. Kali Linux can be used to perform various kinds of hacking attacks, and it is one of the powerful OS in the hacking world. In future I will be uploading various kinds of ethical hacking tutorials, and also I will be showing you guys how to get prevent from those attacks. So if you wanna learn more ethical hacking stuffs along with other programming and web development tutorials, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will not miss any of my tutorials and also don't forget to like share and comment this video hope you guys enjoyed the video catch you guys in another awesome tutorial bye bye